I had a great contact the other day, 6 metres, CW, pedestrian mobile. The station worked with NZL, a distance of about 2,500 kilometres. The main problem was sending. Even though my key was fairly light, it was still hard to hold it in one hand and send as well. So, I've developed a smaller, lighter key more suited to pedestrian mobile CW operating. The key itself is very simple. It's mounted on a piece of scrap circuit board material. I sort a slit down lengthwise to separate one key connection from the other. Bridged across that is a switch. It's actually a push button switch salvaged from an old video recorder. They are often used behind the front panel for the main controls on the video. The quality of the switch is important to you being able to send fast but readable CW. You should be able to send up to 15 words a minute, otherwise I would suggest another switch that has a more positive feel. The circuit board is wrapped in gaffer tape, all except the switch is covered. And note the right angle plug, especially important for rigs like the FT817 that have the key socket inconveniently on the rear panel. The lead to the rig is fairly short to keep the connection reasonably rigid. You may wish to mount the key either to the top of the radio, its bag or just have it free. One thing I found important when operating pedestrian mobile is the length of the lead between the radio and the antenna. If it's too long, it dangles and the results are something like this. And if it's too short, you may put stress on the radio's antenna connection when you are swinging the antenna around. If you hold your arm out like that, the wire must not quite touch the ground. And to keep it out of way, it's a good idea to loop it behind your neck. If you don't use CW much, this is a very cheap, simple and easy key to build. So I'd recommend building one even if only for emergency purposes. So